Hey guys, welcome to the second vlog. Excited that you guys are here on the channel watching this. Tonight's gonna be crazy. I actually, I'm having, a, I'm at a loss for words for what God's gonna do tonight. We're headed to Modesto, California. If you don't know, I actually got saved in Modesto, California, and I texted the pastor today. I'm not preaching at the church I got saved at, but I said, I really believe tonight's gonna be one of those nights where people 10 years from now are gonna look back and say, May 5th of 2021, I encountered God in Modesto. And I look back from January 12, 2011, I say that to this day. And so I believe tonight's gonna be a night of visitation. Like people are not even gonna get hands laid on them. No one's gonna do deliverance and God's gonna do the work. I've been feeling that all day in prayer. It's gonna be a night of visitation. And I'm just gonna say this, I've been in over 1,500 services in the last 10 years, and I can't remember a time where I've had this much this much expectation for God gonna do something. Now, we're on our way over there. We're like 20 minutes away. It's 524. The pastor just called me and said, dude, there's people lined up. We can't even count. The street's packed out with people. People are trying to get in. People were there last night camping at the church trying to get in, and he texted me a picture. What was it? Two, an hour ago, so three hours before service, with people lined up, over 100 people were already there three hours before. Now, people might think, oh, I'm going to hear Isaiah, but they don't realize they're going to encounter God. It's not about Isaiah, it's not about a man, it's about the presence of God, and people are hungry, and many of the people in the service tonight are not in a church where they let God move in deliverance and move in healing, and so I'm excited. You guys are gonna see footage of that when we drive up the line, all that type of stuff, but more than all that, you're gonna see footage of the power and the presence of God and what God does tonight. I'm only 25 minutes away from Modesto, so it's nice to just be able to get in the car and I don't have to fly there, and I wanna do this vlog a little bit different. The first vlog we did was more like cut and a lot of edits. You know, we took six hours of footage and put it into 18 minutes. This one's gonna be a bit longer because we're just gonna put more raw footage because many of you in the comments are saying, we wanna see more and we wanna actually just be there and just see the footage rather than all the edits, all the cuts, all the music. So we will have music and all that, but we're gonna do more raw footage. So I'll see you guys when we get there. God even you can't stop me now. Yeah, it's right to the top. It's best like basketball. Work it hard, yeah. be a boss. I'ma walk it out. All right, guys, we just pulled the corner. This is the street the church is on. As you can see, it's crazy packed. These are all people parked for the church. People are excited. We're excited. We started in about an hour and 15 minutes, and there is a lot of people. A lot of people in <laughs> line. Everybody lined up, let's go. People are just going to spontaneously get delivered and healed because of the presence of God. Just, just so I feel it. Yeah, right now. With the baptism of the Holy Ghost, healing, yeah. yeah. power, deliverance. Yes, Wait, come on. I feel it right now. I'm yeah. like, we drove up. I said, man, I've been anticipating just 
just anticipating God to move. So I know he will, and I, and I told people like, you're driving from LA, you're flying and all yeah. that. But the thing is, God's gonna reward your hunger. Yeah. God's gonna reward your sacrifice. Right. God's gonna reward you staying here last night or being here at four sure, o'clock yeah. or being in the sun. Like yeah. it's all un inconvenient, but God is moving you out of your comfort zone and he's gonna reward that. Yeah. So I really believe that. I'm like, I know, I felt sometimes like, I felt bad people were here three hours early. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I know God's gonna reward that. Yeah. And that's a sacrifice yes. they're willing to make. It's later, same place, snow everywhere. Wait, wow. Wait. Well, and, that, and we're pastors. Wow and just ready to go into the church because the church was big enough to hold all of us. They have no more forum like we do back there. Wow. So one time I ended up back there because man, I get to dive into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was crazy, but it's beautiful because it's 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 a move of God that hasn't stopped. Yes. See? And that's a key. Too many moves have stopped. Yeah. You know, and the thing that God wants, He wants momentum and He wants us to keep that momentum. So once we lose that momentum, it's whew, Yeah. It's hard to pick it up again. Yeah. You know? And it's, it's I'm, I've only been saved 10 years, but I feel like what happened back in the day when I hear stories of like all night tent revival and prayer yeah, meetings yeah, yeah. and people lined up, I'm like, I feel like God is saying I'm doing it again. And when I mean yes. again, the hunger people have, right, right. And especially now coming out of quarantine, people haven't been in church, oh, now they're, they're hungry, hungry. Yeah. they're so hungry. And a lot of these people wrote me like, my church is still not open, I haven't been able to get in the presence of God. And I, and some of these people, they've never been to church. Like wow. we were in North Carolina at another event we did a couple months ago, these girls were in their early 20s, they got saved on our broadcast, wow. flew to North Carolina, and they were. we met them at the airport, we saw them randomly. They came up to us, oh hi, we're here for the event. They have never been to church before. And in my mind, I'm like, I think everybody's been to church, right? Because like I was raised in church and stuff. But I started realizing a lot of these people, and actually one of my team members texted me, said that she met in the parking lot these two ex-witches from Colorado, they just got saved, wow. they've never been to church, and they're here tonight. Wow. So we think like, oh, we, they know how to do church. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, even yeah. know, they're coming in like, we just, we've never been before. Wow. So I know that's gonna bring another element to like oh, yes. what God wants to do. Yeah. But that's what we want. I'm yeah. like, I want people to know their breakthroughs. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're massive breakthroughs. You don't see these things happen just anywhere. Yeah, you know? yeah. So but God's gotta be another thing to God where it just breaks and chains and woof. Absolutely. Oof. God's gonna just do something forever. Yeah. Fresh, yes. yes. Okay, my brother. Pastor, thank you so much. Are coming for me, yeah. they're actually coming for the presence of God. But if you read the book of Acts, thousands were coming. I mean, look at Jesus, there was 5,000, not including all the children. And, um, and he said, should we send the crowds away? And Jesus is like, no, feed them. Like, feed, the, <laughs> feed them. I'm not gonna feed them, right. you feed them. Well, yeah, so yeah. these people that are here, like, at one part, I was like, man, I kind of feel bad. They've been waiting three hours. But the other side, I'm like, God's going to reward their hunger and God's going to reward their sacrifice. You know, unless I am that they're, they're here waiting in line because now we know for sure God has, God has to show That's up. What I'm no saying. matter what. That's what I'm saying. The we pressure's come off in, of yeah, us. We come into services and you're like, Lord, we need you to show up. I know. They're out there waiting since 3 o'clock. God has to show up. He I know. I know. And that's what I was saying. Like, I, I feel like tonight is going to be just a visitation where the bottom line is we're not going to lay hands on everybody. We're they're, Literally, we're not going to be able to, to pray for everybody. Yeah. So God's gonna meet people where their oh, expectation yeah, level is. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, if you came three hours to sit in 95 degree weather, you're you have a high expectation level. So for me, I felt the same way. I'm like the pressure's off because God is gonna meet these people where they're at. Yeah. Like they came and they're gonna get what they came for. Like the one with the issue of blood, she's like, I'm not leaving the same. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna well, get touched. So yeah. I'm excited, man. Fire, man. It's it's amazing. Excited. Soul salvation. Wait, what you said when you text me? It, yeah. yeah, salvation, deliverance, yeah. without even being praying for, just walk in the building, and they're standing up right now. If you look outside, I said, this, we're going to make this a prayer room right now. Everybody's standing Come up. On. There's like rows of people standing up. Some are laying down, some are sitting down. It's already... And one thing I noticed, even when we were in San Leandro, is like, some of these people that have never been in church, they're so passionate, hungry, excited, because they, they'll they see us yeah. shouting, yelling, they think that's normal. Like, yeah. They don't know, yeah, yeah, they don't know that like the that's religious exciting. church yeah. doesn't yeah. shout, yeah. doesn't yell, doesn't right. stand. So when we were saying the intro, all the these church, yeah, all these unchurched people are literally shouting, standing in the church, people are like, oh, that's, you know what I mean? Because that's they think that's normal. And that's the people we want. I'm like, we don't just want recycled I was Christians. That they're all coming in and saying, this is what I want. Dude, Dude, you want new people that are hungry. Those that you know? don't know church, they don't even know what they're walking into. Yeah, yeah. They don't realize that their name is on the calendar of heaven. Oh, you said it in your word. You said it in your word. Thank you.
His praises would continue to increase even when each family member became deceased. I looked at him and thought, this man is a man of belief. Trusting in God, that must be his relief. His actions showed he was never a man of decrease, but if you've seen his storms, you could swear he'd be mad at least. But his spirit never changed. Though Satan desired his soul, his faith remained. His anchor was his hope for his soul to chain. He knew Hebrews and spoke 19 out of 6 for strength. He read letters and understood it would get better if he endured the pain. Counted all joy and let patience work perfectly was etched in his brain.
go into the abyss and never return. She is not your home. I can have this bit of witchcraft and kill me even though now. Witchcraft, witchcraft, spirit of witchcraft, look at me right now. Witchcraft, look at me, you're leaving her. You're leaving her. Look at me right now, spirit, you're leaving her. She is not your home. We command you right now to go. We command you right now to go. You're leaving in Jesus' name. Go, right now, when I ask this for you.
right, guys, we are back. We just got home. It's 1040. Don't try to figure out where I live. I'm dropping my brother off, but it's 1040. What an incredible time. All the anticipation I had all day was totally made sense because God moved so powerfully. Deliverance broke out, as you will see in the video. Miracles broke out. Healing broke out. People drove in. People flew in. And God met, God met people at their expectation level. Breakthrough was happening in the overflow room. They were having revival outside. Just It was just the whole place was electric with the power of God. You know, I, I emphasize, like, guys, this is not about a person or a personality. This is about the presence and the power of God. And God moved. You know, it started at 7. People were there at 3 o'clock. And people got sunburned, but they got the presence of God. One part of me, I was like, I feel bad. People are waiting. My other part was like, this is all part of the sacrifice we pay to encounter God. And it's good. It's good to sacrifice. God meets us at our expectation level. So thank you guys for coming along. It was a bit different. Here's the thing you guys got to realize. We get to service. We go in. We get into prayer, we start service, it's service, it's meet and greet quickly and it's done and here we are. So there's not a lot of like walking around and talking to show, but this will be a bit longer. So I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna do more content. Obviously we wanna do like family vlogs and other behind the scenes stuff, but we're working it out guys. We're working day by day on all the stuff we're doing. Um, pray about becoming a monthly partner. <laughs> if you're not a monthly partner, here's your shameless plug. Partner with the ministry, God is moving. The earth is being shaken by the power of God. Uh, links to give, links to sow, links to partner. Partner, all that down below. Um, thanks for coming along, guys. We'll see you in the next one.